Alright guys, welcome back to the rainy fields of Hyrule. We're gonna head into a dungeon really quickly, and then we are beelining it straight for Impa. I want to actually get some more story, get a little bit of tutorial stuff, maybe learn how to do crafting and stuff. Now we're getting bits and pieces of iron and amber and stuff out of rocks. At least we figured out mining. And we might pick up some cool new weapons in here, because sadly I've broken both of my awesome laser swords. And I seriously need an inventory upgrade on my weapon slots. I don't care about the bows, I don't care about the shields. You know, I don't care about any of the other weapon slot er, slot types other than weapons. Because I just keep finding things I want to pick up that are all situationally useful. So half of my backpack is, here's an axe, here's a mining thing. Oh, it's a wind puzzle one. Alright. This one shouldn't be too bad. I'm used to these from all of the uh, Wind Waker puzzles, so... Look at that. Bam! Treasure chest in, like, under a minute. Not under 30 seconds. I mean, it was the stupidest, easiest one to get, but... Oh, yeah, this is exactly like one of the forest temples. Alright, so we're going that way. That one is the way back. Here to make sure there's no chests or anything. That's a very interesting. Yeah, that's a chest. Okay. So we probably have to jump off of that down to there once we're up. Alright. So this one's all about just getting off at the right time. That's what this little puzzle bit's about. Now let me just quickly check. Come on, Link, I just... It's not... It, I think it's B and then X to cancel? Come on, I just need you to jump one time. Yeah, it's X to cancel, alright. No problem! No deaths, no damage! Gotta love it. Ha <laughs> ha! Getting better at the game. Wow, this sage or whatever they are is like the most bored one. I'm, like, I'm just looking at my bracelet. I died. So bored. Died of boredom waiting here. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of an adventurer who's a little short on rubies. Maybe you want to donate some jewelry before you vanish into mist. You know, help me fund my uh, weapons and help take down Ganondorf, you know. I mean, they look like they're made out of gold. No? No? Alright, you take that to the afterlife then. No! Damn it! Now I get it. I forgot that it teleports you to the top. There really should be an option, like, do you want to leave? Step on this teleport pad, so that way I don't have to keep going back in. Gate changes as well, use A to increase speed, use back on L to decrease. Oh, you actually can slow your horse down. I was just letting him, like, slow down naturally. Or her. Why can't you just tell me what I should be referring to Jawbreaker as, game? Seriously. Well, so much for taking no damage in this dungeon. Whee! Pushed the wrong button. <sighs> oh, wow, that's a full heart. Uh, let me just uh, snag one of these, since I apparently toasted stamina shrooms, so I lost all the special effects on them. I was thinking there was something in that recess there, but no. Wow, I am messing up hardcore on this one. Oh, 
Interesting. That's an interesting one to get to. So I think what I have to do is boost myself off and veer right. So I actually have to use the jet stream to get to that chest. Alright. I got another fall in me. Okay, just wanted to check to make sure that wasn't one I could just magnet to. What else? I've got... Actually, hold on. Can we, can we time power these fans? Son of a bitch. I don't know if that actually speeds them up any. I kind of mistimed my jump into it, but we'll see. Oh, I get it. I'm thinking I'm just supposed to time power it and then... Yeah. And then just... Yeah, that was all it was. Alright. I was overthinking the puzzle once again. Ooh, Soldier's Claymore. Um, let's see, do I have any shit things in my inventory? Well, Soldier's is better than Traveler's. to eat. Oh, this really needs to be a faster access menu. Alright. Well, we didn't fail too hardly hard in this one. Come on, I want to go... Oh, I wanted to go all the way to the door. All right. Oh, I can... Okay. Oh, yeah, I have drawn it, arrows on it. Uh, oh, Ancient Furnace. Ancient Furnace go with a blue flame. Said it'd be creations of ancient Sheikah race. Something, something. Oh, is this the blue flame? These the energy furnaces? I don't know. All right. No more distractions. Story quest only. Oh, those are the seagulls. Instantly distracted by seagulls. Good job. Okay, maybe one distraction. You are adventuring, friend? What was it, Myla? The end is here. Oh, it's Brigo. Alright. Maybe someone used to seeing bad ones by now, but that, well, let's just say... It's better than most. We're all doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the way, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms there, I'm talking about the towers. Yes, I've been visiting them. Seem to have popped up all over the place. The only strange thing that happened, those long deserted shrines suddenly be started glowing. Uh -huh. This means, don't you? The end is here. Yep. And I'm the harbinger of the end. Well, this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving. <laughs> that guardian, okay. One shame like an overturned urn, that is what I'm talking about. Oh. Some of them can move. One of them w once chased me down and tried to kill me. Wow, that's impressive. One close to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, shoot blue beams of light at you. Yep, I've been on the end of those. Sure was the end for me, prepared for the worst. So I should escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. Lightning-fast reflexes. 
They still wander around Hyrule Castle. Yep, you have told me nothing I don't know. Talk to me where it's dry. Wow, he actually cares that it's raining. That's pretty cool. No, 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 no. Why would you make sprint the talk button? I think the rain will let up soon. All right, let's get directions. Um, head down the road, Karako Village or Kakariko Village. The other side of Dueling Peace, there's a stable. Stop there and ask someone for further directions. Ah. Okay. Just patrolling bridge is an important route. Keep busy making sure monsters don't nest here by chasing them off the bridge. Wow. Bravo to you, sir. Ah. Alright. Well, that's ah. all I wanted to hear from you. Wish each other good luck, eh? We'll need it. Yep. Good luck chase killing monsters as the not chosen hero of time. They don't tend to have very good luck doing that. Goats. Interesting old, like, fallen tree thing. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, that, that lake is where the Deku tree looked like it was at. Oh, hold on. Something shiny. Must resist shiny things, but it's so shiny. Um. Jawbreaker, where did the shiny thing go? Oh my god, it's leading me up the trail. And do a trap. This seems suspicious, but I'm gonna go with it. Hello, shiny thing. Oh, it's like uh, the Deku's. Nope. Oh, it's just another Korok. Korok. Small seeds gives you gives a, you either a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. And there's that weird fire by that pillar, but I'm not heading over there. Okay. Well, that's one way to not take damage when I fall. Also, apparently our charge thing uh, powers up as we jump, so that's good to know. All right. Oh, those are the rocks. All right, onward, straight to Impa. No more shiny things, no more distractions. Do I want to go through the road or down along the river? Okay, the road goes through the forest. All right. Another one of those weird holes. Let me mark that on my map. Hopefully we'll learn what they're for. Oh. There's just a campfire? Is there a human over there? There's a cooking pot. Oh, there's actually a person. Ugh. And let's remove oop, that stamp. All right, we'll talk to people because this is story stuff. Anytime you uh, want to stop there, Jawbreaker, come on. There we go. Yeah. I'm a traveler, go swap my fire if you like. Traveling merchant. Ah! Go to the forest, oh. get your wares. Anything rare you'd be interested in selling. 
You offer me a different price? No, you have exactly the same prices as literally everyone else. And I'm not that hard up for cash yet, so... Oh. Alright, hearty truffle. Rare mushroom is rich scent. Temper increases your max hearts. Carrots, rock salt. Use seasoned meals. Yeah, I don't know if I need oh. any of that stuff. I'll remember you're here. Oh my god, come on. Just want to light the cook fire. And then we'll go over here. Do a little bit of mining. We're getting distracted by shiny things again. Rock salt! Ha! Ah, we didn't even have to buy it from him. And since there's a woodcutter's axe right over there, we can ignore... Or we can chop down a whole bunch of trees, get some firewood and stuff. And then pick up a replacement. Hi. Oh, that lit on fire quickly. Let's see if I can crush that gecko. Actually, am I wasting arrows on these things? Can I just stealth up to them? Oh my god, I could have just been stealthing up to those things the entire time. This is actually a really, really good axe. Like, holy crap, they last a while. I don't know why they're so rare if they're so good. I don't know. I guess I'm using it for its intended purpose rather than as a melee weapon, so... Oh, I just missed a whatever cicada thing that was. Holy crap. I've got enough wood. Deforest the entire forest. Okay, finally we're getting to badly damaged. We'll go take the other one, and then we'll be good to go. I do like how, like, the NPCs will, like, find going with your axe. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh no, I just broke my axe. I'm gonna go mad if you pick up something that's just lying around. Something's important to someone, they could, wouldn't have let it out of their sight. Right, well, we already chopped down that tree, so I might as well harvest the rest of it. Alright. Now we have a whole bunch of wood. Switch back to, what was I burning? The... Uh, Claymore. Alright, straight on to Impas. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Do not like the nighttime. Oh, there's another pinwheel archery challenge. Oh, I already marked that one. Not gonna stop the shiny things. Not gonna stop for shiny things. This is a really shiny thing. Alright, straight on through the pass. 
You know, I thought a place called the Dueling Peaks would be filled with a lot more danger. Well, there's a... Alright, we'll come back to that shrine. Is it fish, or is it just rocks? It's like chameleon guards? Weren't those, like, Ganon's big monsters that he was summoning during the Blood Moon? Let's just keep on riding. I'm just gonna ride past any mobs I find. Well, they're really easy to fight during the night, apparently. Sleeping all, not paying attention over there, but nope. There's the stable. You're going to the village. Whoa! Easy there, John Ranker. Go. Good girl. Good boy. Good job, Raker. There's another shrine. Hello, young traveler. What's the matter with you? You look tuckered out. You know, Dueling Peak Stable is real close. Yeah, it's literally over there, dude. <laughs> Feeling I might peckish, you might just think to get your strength back. Nice hunk of meat. Carry only the finest meals. Guaranteed the top choice provisions or your rubies back. Ah. What do you got? Raw prime meat, raw burnt. Holy shit, this stuff is expensive. Yeah, let's go with no. How much ah. do these ingredients actually sell for? Mm. Like, what's a slab of raw prime meat? 15 rubies. That's actually really good. Wow. And then when I cook them into meals, do I... Oh my god, that is a 120 elixir. Okay, so rubies aren't nearly as hard to come by. So I can always just sell to food to merchants to... Ah. To get some more cash whenever I need it. Alright, we've got a stable here, which means we've got a cook pot to mark. I'm gonna help myself to some firewood and some apples. I wonder if the pitchfork makes a good weapon. Let's drop one real quick and see. Seven. Farming tool used to collect hay efficiently, light enough to use anyone. Four prongs are very sharp. Yeah, let's go with no. <gasps> Hello, little puppy. Hello. 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 Pet the puppy! Pet the puppy? Good boy! Who's a good boy? Oh, hey, look, another woodcutter's axe. Alright, so there's just tools and stuff around. Wow, there's there's a lot more people living in Hyrule than I thought. Hi. Been to the Spring of Wisdom. Nope. Princess Ella visited the Spring in prayer. I have a great deal of love and respect for her. All right, you know, what do you got? Sorry, I didn't notice you, a bit lost in thought there. Doing rigorous research, trying to figure out the mystery of that blood moon. Yep, I've seen it. Just pretending to know what I was talking about? It's fine, so long as you listen to me while I tell you about it. So often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. Once the previously defeated will come back to life. It's known as the blood moon. All right. I mean, you know, Ganon did it. Seems like a good explanation to me. So just random... Oh my god, there are so many random travelers. Darton. One color horsey, two color horse... Two one color horsey. Interesting. One spotted horse, two spotted horse. Scoop on Miko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Hang on. Hello, I'd like some treasure info. You're like rude listening to our conversation, aren't you? Yep. Treasure hunter on the trail of a great score. It's treasure of the great bandit Misko. Huh? Give it all away. Aw, ah. but I want to hear more. 
Keep talking. I'm totally not here anymore because you can no longer see me. Uh, hey, Beetle, how's up? Hey! Alright, you got anything else? Stay with us. 20 rubies for a bed. What's the soft bed? Oh. Special bed, proud to offer. Costs more than a regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Oh, so you can, like, buff your ah. HP and stuff here. Huh. It's probably worth it when you have more hearts to restore. I can give you directions. Hey. Place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. Okay, dueling peaks, everything's full of life again, while the horses are back. Ooh. Ah. Let's see, that's yep, that's mm. the village we're heading to. Advanced techniques that were more powerful than anything the world had seen. Power that put them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Leave here and follow the road straight to the north. You'll find a big bridge. All right. Oh. A Tino village. Village on the edge of Hyrule. Largely unaffected by the events of the Great Calamity, so people there are pretty easygoing. Oh. The research center. Ooh. Folks need to avoid the weird scientist who lives there. Okay. Head north, reach the fork, then go east. Get there in under a day on a horse. Hmm. Well, we're going to Impa first, because we're... We're going after shiny things. Or not going after shiny things. You just staring at the uh, temple thing? Huh? See a whole bunch of travelers passing through? Peaceful it is around here. Somewhat easy to forget the world almost ended years ago. Oh. Yeah, it's the end times are here. Still monsters wandering near your whole castle. Travelers should know thing through about elixirs. Yes, tell me about them. Mixing bugs, other small creatures with monster parts. Most are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Speed, resistance to extreme temperatures. Mm. Oh, thank you. Hasty elixir. Nice. Use escape from enemies or any time I need to hurry. Hightail lizard and monster parts. Oh, wow. Look at all those ingredients if you can climb that cliff wall. All right. Come on, Jawbreaker, we ride! To Impa! Get off the road! Jawbreaker coming through. Yeah. Alright, Celessa, Traveler. Perhaps I should say I'm an adventurer. Expect to be in the middle of a journey. Great honor of meeting with the leader of Kare or Kareko... Yeah, whatever. Kariko Village. Kakariko. Kakariko. I always pronounce it wrong. I've been doing that since I've been a kid. It's very knowledgeable of the history of my rules. Also blessed with a lovely personality. Well, thank you. <laughs> Onward! <laughs> There's something shiny up there. Got some boxes and stuff outside the road. Hello, sir. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jawbreaker, it's not attack people, it's talk to people. Come on now. Hi. Right, you have stables. Look in the eyes. If you rest the night, you won't stay for long. You know what it's like to hear, call the, hear the... Ah, I know what it's like to hear the sound venture calling your name. Selling a few things. All right, let's see what you got. Oh. So there's merchants all over the damn place. Energetic rhino beetle. Um... It's impressive, Vitality gives you an extra lecture, greatly restores stamina. Bright-eyed crab. Bless your stamina. Okay, so there are just merchants all over the place. I still don't know what the value of a ruby is in this game, so I'm gonna be holding on to mine a little bit. Come on. Gotta go through an entire canyon. I'm sure something will try to stop us in the middle. But we're not stopping. No more shiny things. No more shiny things. Oh, but look at all the orange shiny things. No. Focus. Focus. So much loot. Kill that jaw. Oh my god, Jawbreaker killed that. We're turning around for that. Anything Jawbreaker hunts is worth stopping for. <laughs> I 
Nice kill, Jawbreaker. Nice kill. Some raw meat. That's worth eight rubies. Amarath. Or Armoranth. Tough medicinal plant can't not be broken, but it can be cooked. Du very durable with yet flexible fibers. Raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Man, we can make the ultimate tank potions. Which we might have to do for fighting bosses. Also, that tree up there looks a little weird. If that's even a tree. Oh, this is probably where we we're going to be introduced to the Koroks. Also, feels like a Totoro reference for some reason. Well, hello there, giant Korok guy. Shalaka! Oh, it's Hestu. You, you can see me. Yes, I can see you. Shalaza Shalaka. hundred years since anyone's been able to see me. Hestu, need your help. Stole your beloved maracas. Alright, still on the other side of those rocks. Ah, fine. Can't use your powers without them. Because I'm pretty sure you've got you've got to be the guy we redeem those seeds to, so... The priceless maracas. Alright, fine. Watch my horse. We're going monster slaying, and it might be a little bit... Oh, damn it. Sorry, Jawbreaker. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go with the Soldier Broadsword. So I can have the shield out at the same time. Glad to know I, you have my back, though, Jawbreaker. That's actually a fair number of the big ones. Oh shit, I blasted you behind me. And once again, being caught. Balance after your attack. And down you go. Wow, you just flew down that. But yeah, every time, I just, for some reason, the Joy-Con is very sensitive when you push in the left, when you, like, use the left stick with normal human pressure. And it's like, oh, you want to push this in and then crouch and then, you know, not be speedy? Okay, then. It's kind of annoying. Let's go back to the shitty Claymore. Oh, the pictures look different to me. Is that a reinforced shield? No, it's a normal one. Alright. Well, that went pretty well. They all came into the canyon at the exact same time, which made that much easier for me. All these free apples and supplies. Those are definitely worth cracking open. A little bit of durability on a weapon for a lot of good stuff. Alright, let's get his maracas back. That's his maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. Hello, random dude running up the hill. What's going on? Yeah. I mean, it's hard in the rain. I love how they react to the weather. Question for you, kiddo. Are you much of a mountain climber? I was back in your age. Nothing gets me going like sight of treacherous cliff daring me to climb it. So many few things I picked up in my travels. Ooh. All right. I'll sell you some of my... Don't let the weather get you down. Special reserve stock to cheer you up. Ooh. So there's special things they do during the weather? Ah. Rare Frog only ventures out in the rain. When cooked with monster parts, the elixir it produces will temporarily increase your max stamina. Endure Carrot. Huh. 
So merchants have special stock. Good to know. Got your maracas. Those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Shalaka. Oh, wait, are you the new tingle? Something wrong with my maracas. Korok seeds and cider gone. How am I supposed to dance now? And that's why he wants the Korok seed. If I had just one, I could sing, dance, use my powers to help you. Power of inventory expansion. Yes, 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 you can take them all. I thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks. Yes, I have Korok seeds. Give me more inventory slots. Oh my god. I've been waiting for you. More weapons. Oh god, yes. Woo! Extra slot. I'll take it. I don't care. Ah, so it costs more each time. Well, I'm going weapons, like... Shields and stuff, like, four shields, like, I don't need much more than that. Love his little dance. Oh, more. I need more. And, the like, the bows, like, have pretty good, decent durability. Like, I don't use them as that much. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Once I see you off, I'm going back home to Cork Forest. Do you want to talk a little bit more? Alright, so where is Cork Forest? Somewhere north of here. Grandpa told me if you get lost, follow the Hillier River and continue north. Alright. Suppose I should tell you a little about myself. My name is Hestu. Most celebrated musician of Korok Forest. Cork seeds come from the Cork children, and they're a little bit. Sorry, I blew out my voice singing. Um, okay. Well, we got two more weapon slots. I will take that gladly. Oh, so much more inventory space. Yeah, because, I mean, five bows? Like, I'm not going to need more than five bows. And four shields? I'm good. Like, uh, until I get to a point in my uh, adventure where those are, like, breaking all the damn time, like, there is no reason to not upgrade weapon slots. All right, so what we're gonna do... I'm gonna jump off real quick right here. I am gonna grab the Dooku Spear, because that is a good, nice long torch. So I can use that as the weapon uh, for lighting things and whatnot. And there was a... Oh no, the axe was down by the uh, other place. I'll leave the other slot open. It's not worth grabbing a club or anything like that for. Although I could use a club, I guess, to break open boxes and little things and not care. So I'll, I'll throw it in my inventory for now. Oh, finally the rain stopped. Alright. Well, that was a really, really good stop shiny thing. But we still have to go. We've been uh, traveling up this path for a long time. Just keep going. Almost to the village. Shiny things be damned! So many shiny things! Sorry, sorry, sir. Are you the same merchant I talked to? Oh, do you actually have persistence in the world? That is cool. Question for you. Much of mountain climbing. Yeah, you're the same guy. Huh. Oh. oh yeah, let's actually quickly verify one thing. Does he have a special stock? Oh. Yeah, it's a completely different stock than when he had before. That is actually kind of cool. Oh. I 
bet you that's going to be like a quest where you have to get certain ingredients only from certain merchants at certain times. Like, that is going to be the big Gorgon sword style quest in this one. Kakariko Village! Hello, ma'am. Seem to have twisted my ankle. You see here. Do you need some uh, food or something? Sorry to see me like that. Nana. Say, traveler. Come on. Where'd you get that object hanging from your waist? You see, I'm the hero of our rule. So, you know. She can say a symbol. It means you're the hero of legend. Few of no know of such legends anymore. Yushika have been waiting for a long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Ah! That really, really big house. Oh my god, all these houses are huge. It's a real honor to meet you. I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Ah, oh, it's just a tree branch. Well, nice meeting you. I'll be on my way. Okay, so apparently we can't gallop through a village. You know, it's probably best I just take this on foot. You hang here, jawbreaker. Oh. Hey, kids. Mother loved this tree. She said it's big and kind, just like father. Ah. I wonder if they'll be here soon. Oh, we gotta find these kids' parents? Alright. <sighs> pumpkins! Yes, I'd like some pumpkins. Hello, sir. Oh. Ever seen a young lad like you in a village like this? You aren't part of the Yiga clan. Is there, like, clan warfare going on here? Come on, guys, don't be fighting each other. We need to fight Ganon. Pulling your leg, it looks serious, couldn't help it. Let's see. Those who swear allegiance to the Calamity Ganon, the Yiga clan. Oh! Okay. So oh. we're still fighting against them. Just don't take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. Seems they're active again ever since that big earthquake the other day. Don't worry, I don't think you're part of that Yiga clan. Figure that out, much out by looking at ya. Alright. Fortified pumpkin. Cooked toughness manifests as well as like considerably upping defense. Nice. Every one of them, they're delicious. Want more? I can give you some. Just stop by the fields and say hello. More pumpkins, please. Make you stronger. I ask you only to keep cooking them so I can eat them every day. Dish to make, you, make a dish as firm as my halves. Food like that will increase your defense. Putting lots of fortified pumpkin in a dish is key. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, they're 20 rubies each. Figures it's not a free farm. Making the hero of legend pay for things. Ooh, clothing shop. Chanted is open for business every day of the year. Look at that face, you're totally my type. So, Lasley, what do you got first clothes? You have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Huh? Wait. <laughs> Isn't that like an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? Not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems like you're a great deal more important than you appear. Oh my god, everything is so awesome looking. Rumor Mill, Volume 1. Who loves gossip more than a solid three mills a day? Tracy, of course. Anyone else reading this? I'm sure. Today's gossip spot is Lover's Pond. Like I said, those who find this pond are sure to also find their true love. Seems worthwhile to me. Interesting. All right, Claire. Look at Enchanted, high-end boutique. Exclusively stuff garments from Claire Collection. Stealth chest guard over there, highly recommended. Right, anything you don't need to so talk to me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. High-end collect collection curated by me, Clary. But of course, <laughs> personally selecting each and every item here and using my flawless fashion sense. Highly recommended, each item has unique features and abilities, so take a good look. Oh, oh. It's not a shop where they sell things straight from there. Let's see. Hood. 
woven using traditional Hyrulean methods, made from sturdy material, protect travelers from harsh sun and weather. Hylian tunic, common garb with widespread popularity. Particularly among travelers, light yet sturdy fabric doesn't limit movement. That's three defense, that's good. Hylian trousers, I've got those on. Ah. That lovely limited edition enchanted exclusive. Footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting. Mm. Offers very little defense. Ah, so I see we're going to be swapping clothes around a bit. Stealth tights. 600. Oh my god. I have a feeling this ninja costume. Damn. That's going to be worth it. Alright. So what do we need? We need... 120. And we can buy everything in here. I think we can actually just sell that stamina potion we got for free. Um, I can just cook some decent meals at a campfire. Like, honestly, that's just five apples. And that's 50. Yeah, let's just do this. It's one... Actually, you know what? We need energy. Um, We have nowhere near that much heart, so we're not going to be using this one for a while. And... Keep that... Oh, damn, we burned a silent shroom. You know, I'll do that because I made that by mistake. Um, pepper steak. I mean, honestly, it's just a couple apples. Like, this is not bad. Like, for better armor, I will take it. I get anything that'll give me 20... I'll keep the simmered fruit, because that's actually what I wanted to make with them. There we go. I'm glad I could just sell random people food, and then buy good stuff. Okay, so we got ourselves a hood. And we got ourselves a tunic. All right, let's upgrade a bit. Oh, so much more defense. Okay, I look weird with a, the hood. A hood woven using traditional Hillian methods made from sturdy material to sun from... Yeah. Wow, we look definitely odd with the hood. I'm going to remove it for cutscene purposes because I like how Link looks, but for battle, it's definitely something worth uh, having access to. That, that doesn't look anything like that house, sir. I applaud you for your efforts, but, uh, yeah. Pakango. Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. There's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. Here it's breathtakingly beautiful. So a place can bestow some kind of mysterious power. Oh, I'm up for that. Can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. Villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me have to stop by. Won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Ooh. Chill, guys. Alright, I see five apples, or four apples in bins. Five bins. Aha! Simple puzzle. I will take more of your inventory expanding miracle seeds. It looks like an inn. Oh, there's so many cool places. Alright, guys. You there, who are you? Who how you dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Yeah, I'll just wave my uh slate. Yes, it is a slate. I'm the hero of legend. Now move! Ooh. Yes, I will forgive you for behaving rudely. Heard legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. All right. Now, Impa is probably 130 years old, so this will be interesting. Uh. Paya, a man. <laughs> okay. Is that... It's Chica Slate. 
Can you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Link. Well, I forgot I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Paya. I, I can tell from your text box. <laughs> I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. My grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Anything else? Master Link, you're here very close to me right now. I just... Got this way for you in her boat. Well, that's, that's pretty funny. Don't mind me, I'm just going to go check around the back for hidden treasure. Alright, Impi, I am very, very sad with you. Like, there should be hidden treasure. Aha! Well, it's not great hidden treasure, but I'll take a few mushrooms. Don't you know how to greet the hero of legend? You have to have hidden treasure chests in very easy to find places. I'm gonna just climb it, Link. Nothing to see here, Paya. Just, just. The fuck am I doing? <laughs> yep, figured Impo would be a little bit older. You're finally awake. Hey, Grandma it has Impa. been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me. Not a clue. Have no memories. Sorry. Huh? What is the matter? You are looking at me. Oh, I'm stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One, Impa. Surely you must re at least remember the name Impa. Yeah, I don't know what happened to me, but I lost all my memory. Oh. There's not. It may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dear Slink, please come a bit closer. What do you mean by losing my memory is a blessing in disguise? Oh. hundred years oh. ago, the kingdom I ruled was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. Then, all alone, she went to face Ganon. Where Princess Zelda went to nobly face, meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you, waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, I've forgotten what I was going to say. No. <laughs> so words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are ready to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. I mean, I've already tried going to Ganon's castle once. I think I'm kind of committed to this. Afraid the burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. Leave the choice to you. When you feel you're ready to see the princess's message, return to me. I mean, I'm gonna go snoop around your house a little bit, and then we'll I'll hear the message. Journal of Various Worries. Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, what's more important, the cuckoos or me? I chose the cuckoos. The bowmaster. <laughs> oh, God. A painter unfamiliar to any of us at... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Painter unfamiliar to any of us has arrived in the village. Claims he is searching for the Great Fairy's Fountain, but that's n near where the village spirit protector resides. Let's make sure the outsider doesn't learn the location of the fountain or the two shrines near it. Ooh, two shrines. Anonymous father of two. New guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. Hope he comes by and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. Wow! Wow, lonely arrow girl. Wow! Wow. I was not expecting that in a Zelda game. Day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the shop. I don't mind, really. It's good money, and busying myself helps to numb the pain. The only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Fortunately, we've now been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know how I can cope without fireflies. Alright, give fireflies to shop, girl. Precious heirloom has passed down for, through my family for generations. Recently, I've begun to hear voices telling me the heirloom has an important destiny. It's not. It's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous. Feel in my bones. Papaya. Day in and day out. Um... Oh, okay, that's the last page. Oh, I, I ended up reading going backwards. All right, so we can get some fireflies for the shop, girl. Hello, mysterious artifact. I've seen one of those in the dungeon, and it's just sitting there. Oh, oh, oh what do we got here? Paya's diary. Paya's diary seems she's the only one who only just started writing in it. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura. 
Ooh, that's a new name to the uh, Hillian lore. Hundred years ago. Decided to loot, put a lone swordsman into a long sleep so as to prepare for a time that was foretold in legends. The name of that swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother's been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I too pray that he awakens soon for the sake of Hyrule and for Grandmother's sake as well. Oh, it's a mirror. I thought it was like a chemistry bench that I could like cook potions or something at. Well, Impa, your house is thoroughly, for as big as your house is, it was thoroughly disappointing on the amount of loot and interesting things that were around it. I'm going to go quickly meddle with the shopkeeper, and then I'm going to talk to you again. Fireflies, fireflies. I know I have a few of them. There we are. Here, shopkeeper. I has fireflies. Huh. So apparently we just can't give people things. All right. Aha! Not yet found four spirit orbs. Seek out the shrines. Face more challenges. I've got three. All right. I think we'll go with health this time just to see how much health it gives us. That appears to be... Oh my god, it's a vase shop. Must resist smashing everything. Today's dinner is veggie cream soup. Super nourish nourishing and fortifying. Carrot, salt, milk. Oh. Coco was all out of swift carrots. Coco promised to make Kalia some hasty... Alright, I'll get you some carrots. One swift carrot. Coco will have to head home. So I have to do that before night time. Okay, probably shouldn't be breaking pots because it doesn't seem to do anything beneficial for me. Uh, let's go see if we can find our merchant friend that's walking down was walking down the road earlier. Yeah. Just a random house. Ooh. The oh my God! There is someone obsessed with cuckoos, and it looks like cuckoo breeding. Oh god, it's gonna be like golden chocobos or something. Also, hello, what do we have here? Oh, just for the cuckoo to get in and out. Ooh, some quality bows, though. Hi. Um, you think there was that merchant around here somewhere? Carrot and milk. I don't have either of those. Down here I can read. Nope. Just gonna run on their desk a little bit. And what is this shop? Oh, no, they're just a little house. You know, these houses seem really enormous for how tiny little bit of space they have. I mean, look at the size of these roofs. It's a forging station or a cooking station. Oh, that's going to be fun. <gasps> Carrots. Let me just uh, borrow one of these. Oh, look at carrots. Someone's gone to Great Lakes to grow them. Um, all right, so probably shouldn't just steal the carrots. I get it, I get it. Hello, any of you a carrot farmer? I need one for a quest. Okay, didn't mean to strike the tree with the sword, but, you know, whatever gets the apples off. You! Ma'am! Are you the carrot merchant? Gotta sort out an old man's supper, which I have today. Ah. 
Melly's Plum Garden. No trespassing. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm really nervous about breaking pots, because this Zelda game seems to take a little bit different approach to things than most. Unfortunately, no milk in here. Alright, innkeeper, do you sell things? Your guests will so. Oh. Regular bed is two only rubies, soft bed, yeah. I need a merchant before the nighttime hits. I don't have much time. You, sir, you look like a merchant. Carrots and milk, please. Delicate mm. donkey, looks like a funny mate reached Carcario village. Anxious to open shop, but first, a little dinner for the donkey. Some veggies, rock salt, and milk make for delightful veggie cream soup. Yes, oh. bye-bye. I will take one carrot. Ah. You do not have milk. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll sell you some random cook thing I've made. Um, you know, we're not going anywhere cold for a while, so just oh. sell that for 40. Ah. You sure you don't have milk? How the hell am I gonna find milk? Oh. Gonna go find Lawn Lawn Ranch? Oh. oh. Hey Trissa, aren't you tired? Don't you hate talking to weird customers? Aren't you chilly? Have you eaten yet? <laughs> Stop being such a worry about you old coot. Trissa and Steen. Ah. Welcome! Mm. My mister has only eyes for me. He loses his focus with everything else. Don't mind him. Browse as much as you want. All right. Um. Oh. Recommendations. Swift carrots. Uh-huh. One other cup. Fortified pumpkins. <sighs> you sell them here, but you see, mister and the pumpkin farmer, they don't get along. Fortified pumpkins, you have to go get straight from Olkin's patch. Ah. Oh. Some greens in a pot. Cook them up good. Come on, give me a recipe. Ah. Swift carrots, bird eggs, goat butter. I need milk! My god, what kind of grocery only sells four things? Oh, wait, did you only need a carrot? Oh, I thought you needed carrot and milk. Well, that explains why I couldn't find it. Yay! I've learned a new recipe. I'll never be able to make it because I don't have milk, but... Have some! Nice! Ooh, hasty veggie cream stew. A level of movement speed buff, and two hearts. Side quest complete. Just in time for dinner time. Hot buttered apple. Oh. Ingredients are some apples and goat butter. Oh. Oh. Alright, well first, let us put cook pot right down there. Cooking with cocoa. Alright, after this we're going to go to Impus because apparently we don't have anything really important going on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I'm glad you're located right next to the quest keeper. Oh. Come with a bad daughter who can't do anything right. Aww. Come on, Coco, cheer up. I mean, I'm just gonna go sell the dishes you cook me for way more profit than the ingredient costs, so you know, not really that big of a deal. All right. So what does goat buttered apple do? Superbly sweet. Here, take some. Eh, I'm not sure if the butter is really all that worth it for just two hearts. Tough meat stuffed pumpkin. 
Hey, I've got a pumpkin. Oh, I've got raw meat. I've got that too. Oh, well, I used to go hunting and make sure we always had raw meat, but he's at work right now. Okay, Coco, come on. Cheer up. And this is why I hoard ingredients for quests just like this one. I wonder if I can get anything at the end of this quest chain, like a cookbook or something. So pumpkin and raw meat gets me... Wow, wait. Low-level defense boost. Nice. Also, that looks really tasty. Dessert. Honeyed apple. I've got honey as well. He's attacking when you get close to their hives. Too dangerous. Want to make some for Mother in Heaven. But Coco is a bit... Didn't really wish your mother died. That's so depressing. Have some honey. Man, I am glad I am a hoarder. <laughs> oh. mm. Coco remembers. Coco had a fever. Mother would always cook this just for Coco. Mother made her special dessert. She always put some of this in it. Oh. Coco will do her best. Try to be as good as you one day. Coco will get better and better. Aw. Okay, mother's oh. dishes. Energizing honey apple. Now that! Holy shit! So you fill some of your stamina wheel. Juicy, sweet, and sour dish combining newly ripened apples with honey. Screw putting butter on them. It's you. Coco's made a decision. Become a chef when Coco grows up. Coco can make everyone happy with yummy food. Coco's been relying on mother's recipes. From now on, Coco will come up with her own recipes, too. Coming up with recipes is hard. Alright. Alright, so it looks like I have to come back to that later. Yep. Alright. Don't mind me taking the apples. Alright, story advancement, because we've spent enough time in the village. Hey, Paya! Grandma's waiting for you in a boat, please hurry to her. Alright. Words of the princess risked her life to impart to you. Cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Prepare to risk your life for the greater good. Yep. <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. Not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Since you've lost your memory, I'll recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Jeez. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. Kind of appreciate that. Towers make things easier for me. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. Okay, so those seem to be a little bit less useful for me. 
The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestor of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Well, I mean, I kind of was doing that already. Thanks for telling me what I was already going to do. <laughs> Four Divine Beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons that were wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. Divine Beast Va Rudana, Dania, controlled by Durak of the Gorgons. Divine Beast Va Mado, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Va Ruta, controlled by Nifa of the Zora. Divine Beast Va Naboris, of Urbosa of the Gurudu. Also, the Gurudu are on side in this one, and the Rito are joining in. That's nice. Extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. Just infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away from Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. Alright, more information about the Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races. Scattered across Hyrule. Hey, we got some quest markers! Alright, let's go where it tells you and meet the leader. each leader there. Alright. Seems to me the sleigh is not yet complete. Vice Princess Zelda left for you guide and also your memory. Now let's see. So the research lab in Hentano Village might be able to help you. Alright, I was gonna head there next anyway. Nation shining on the eastern edge of Hentano Village. It's a small village, one of very few places that avoids uh, suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Princess Zelda's only hope, and her rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Anything else, Impa? Huh? Something wrong? Tell me the steel has slipped from your spine. Realize you have just awoken. I am not suggesting that you must defeat Kalima Gammon right this moment. So we can get that broken Sheikah slate fixed. Alright, so I can just go back over all the stuff she talked about. Oh. Princess Zelda is fighting Calamity again all alone. You're the only one who can save her. The only one who can save Hyrule. Alright. Hey, Paya. Link, are you leaving now? Darkness and evil are oft bedfellows. Beware the roads at night. Alright. Anything new in the diary? Last page. Precious heirloom. So I need to figure out who Papaya is. They apparently have a precious heirloom. Seems a lot more comfortable talking with me. She's gonna be big story importance, that's for sure. Alright, now there was a... Shrine right up near here. Actually, this is probably a good place to stop for the episode, and next time, we can uh, head around to the shrines, try to find that fairy fountain, and all of that stuff. So we'll be back. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll see you next time on more 
Breath of the Wild.